Hi everybody. It's... Well, Emily's not here right now. She's sleeping, because this time, unlike the dollhouse, I'm going to put together the bike. Her new... This is Emily's first <coughs> bicycle. When I was that age, I got a tricycle, but we're going to try bicycle with training wheels. She's a pretty good and advanced little girl, so hopefully this will work. Um, so I'm going to put it together, and you can watch. Okay. I got this one at Walmart, so it was about 70 bucks Canadian, or 55 American, or something, 60 American. Oh. This one here, Mavello, it's called. You'll see it later, but it's a little blue bike. And it says four to six, but really for Emily, I'm pretty much almost three. Uh, gonna give it a go. Uh, they even, for this one, have a YouTube. <laughs> YouTube uh, channel, which I'll leave a link below, which you can get this bike, and they also uh, have a video instructions on how to put it together to make it easier for a lot of people. All right, so let's go. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna try it without the instructions. Okay, it's a nice sort of. I don't know, this is a bluish color, I guess. Maybe turquoise or something. Handlebar. Oh, I got two tools. It says you only need a wrench, and probably that's all you need. But I also have vice grips, too, just in case. Feels a little bit tight. Needs some oiling, or maybe just some movement. But that's okay. So you fit the wheel on like this. You make sure that, give it some extra space, make sure that these little, see these little, right there, these little pop divots, they are supposed to go in the slot, the hole above the slot. So, pop divot in. Well, we're almost right off. Get it on one side. There we go. See, it goes right in there, like that little pop divot there. Okay, so I take, um, whenever you're tightening the nuts like this, uh, I try to make it even, so the side's a little bit out, so I'll give this side a little tighten until it's in there, and we'll switch over to the other side. Bring that one a little bit. Then switch back over to the other side. This just helps even everything out. Check back the other side. There. One thing I did notice is the tires don't come fully inflated. I have a, a, a portable bike pump, which I suggest everyone who's got a bike probably get one. Uh, I got that out in the, the car. I'll bring that in in a second because the tires don't come properly inflated or you might have to go to your gas station if you don't have one and fill them up. But I really like these portable, they're cheap and they're put a link down. There's a plastic ones, they're better for, you know, such small wheels and, you know, using the pump at the gas station, but you can use it for, for that. So next it says 
remove before riding. <laughs> Put a gag on just to say that, that's kind of silly. Now all bikes are supposed to have all kinds of reflectors and everything, but uh, those are kind of not really useful for a three-year-old because they're not going to be out riding by themselves. Hang on while I get my bigger vice grips. Now this this part is adjustable for the kid's height. I'm gonna since I don't know exactly how high Emily is, I'm gonna start right at the bottom. Make sure your wheel is facing forward. Make sure you're getting proper alignment. Turn the nut hand tighten first. Just use your fingers, hold the little washer right here, this little washer, hand tighten it, then make sure they're in alignment. And then hold the here and give this a little couple turns with your wrench. And then pow, you got your steering wheel nice and for your front wheel and everything nice and aligned. So next, I think we move on to the seat. That's another thing that you won't uh, know the height until you've got your child at hand. But this one is one of those easy lock fit ones. So you just need to hand tighten it like this and then keep it open. Hand tighten it like this and then just like this all right here's your seat and you can test it out later next we'll move on to the pedals or maybe we'll start with these first because then it will hold itself up take that off take the lug nuts off it's inside with the divot there's a little divot to the back it's over the lift nut like that. The training wheels goes on like this. Just sort of a hand level it up there. Just let the bike sort of sit. Tighten it, hand tighten. Hand tighten like this. Just check the Kind of level, that's why I'm going to do the other side. Go 
before I fully tighten them down. So now, a little bit first, the other side, back over, this side, the other side, there we go. They'll obstruct, they're tight. And last, well not last, almost last, last for the major assembly parts, the pedals. Now the pedals, you just hand screw them in. Take a little bit to get that there. Put that on like that. Sort of like hand put in the other one. I'll do this one first. Just grab hold of the pedal like that. Oops, sorry, wrong direction. And just turn the, the nut. Like that. Your pedal's in. Do the same for the other side. Tighten it a little bit with your hand. Just get it. Seat it in there properly. And then grab your wrench. There. Last, put on your pad on the front bar here so they don't bump themselves. There. yourself a new bike. Ready to go. I could put some things in the tires like I used to when I left, but there it is. A new bike. So all the 
links will be down below. And uh, happy riding with your kids. Recommend adults don't try it out themselves. Like the videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next ones.